Previously on Working Man Games. Dear Lord, my God, Mantis of Godness, please kill Space Ghost. Signed Zorak. <laughs> Welcome back, kiddos! It's Working Man Games, Hunting Games Part 2. And today's game, starting off, is Ted Nugent's Wild Hunting Adventure! And what a wild hunting adventure it is, folks! If you don't know who Ted Nugent is, you owe it to yourself to find out. Ted is one of those original hard rockers from the 60s and 70s, also known as the Nuge, Motor City Madman, and that one guy who wears a cowboy hat and always likes to hunt, and a lot of people want him to be president. Uh, how are you supposed to play electric guitar with the enemy around? Die, you son of a... And it had a baby. Me included. A rock star best known for the songs Cat Scratch Fever and Stranglehold. And probably even more well known for his radical political views, mostly right. Right isn't correct. <laughs> and one more thing he's probably known for is making the word gonzo mean something more than the name of a Muppet. How does someone like this get a video game? Like this? One thing I need to tell you all up front and what kept this review off for a while is it took me a long time to get the game to even work on this computer, or any computer for that matter. The controls were another big problem too. Depending on where you had this dang mouse, it would shoot. It would move you in a random spot. It just never worked right. I tried the touchpad, it did the exact same thing. I tried a different mouse, it did the exact same thing. So what I ended up having to do was download XPatter, which is one of those programs that lets you like map keys and it's almost impossible to play. But I wanted, I, I wanted this. I had to do this. I had a need, a, a powerful need in my mind, in my head, in my heart, and every bone and body part that I have. <laughs> so we're gonna take this controller, we're gonna throw it at this computer, and then we're gonna have us a working man game. I thought I busted my screen. So the first thing you hear when you cut on Ted Nugent's Wild Hunting Adventure other than the intro sequence, which I showed earlier, is the song Fred Bear by Ted Nugent, which is basically a song about his husbando. And I knew his name, and it was good to see him again. Like the other games in this sure, series sure of videos right. we've been doing, this uh, also has a little item shop with shit to get you. Nothing really to say about this other than you really need to get you some deadly Tedly Gunzu meat. Gameplay footage begins now. Let's go hunting, baby. It's time to get out of the hand-to-hand -hand concrete hell zone of the city and back where the spirit of the wild runs strong and free. Ah, uh, yeah, um, no. Actually, you know what? Let's come back to that because there's something else on this game I want to show you. There's a page you can pull up here called Ted's Tips that has a whole bunch of live action videos of the man himself. Oh yeah, can you feel it? I can feel it. Hi, I'm Ted Nugent and this is the Nugent Extreme Gonzo Hunting, which will feed the body, the mind, the soul, the body part, because the big hunt begins now. This fucker right here. And there's a shitload of these little videos. In fact, I could have a whole segment where I do nothing but react to them. In fact, I think I will. I am cock lock and ready to rock doc because I eat People quite often are unreasonable, illogical. Let me just stop it right here. Look at the angle that Ted is on right here. He looks like he, he looks like he's on a freaking church pew pulpit. It's called a pulpit. The pew is what you sit on. Pulpit's what you stand at. Okay, 
He's on his pedestal and he's like preaching the word of Ted. The gospel according to Ted. Nuge, chapter 4, verse 3. That's the aspect ratio of this very low quality AVI too. If you are successful, you will win some false friends and true enemies. Succeed anyway. The good you do today will be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. This bear costs $5,000 to have a taxidermist mounted on the wall. Mount it on your balcony anyway. Honesty and frankness make you vulnerable. Be honest and frank anyway. The biggest people with the biggest ideas can be shot down by the smallest people with the smallest minds. Think big anyway. People might say that is the ugliest motherfucking hat I have ever seen in my life. Anyway, don't wear it. <laughs> You've got to break that 15, 20, 25 yard alarm zone. His digital watch went off while he was doing that. And if you've got discipline and control, you will have backstrap fever. And the ponytail will go pa straight up. You will get an erect ponytail. And this is legal. I'm telling you, erect ponytails, perfectly legal. <laughs> Ted. Talk a minute about the dynamic of close range, hand to hand combat with the spirit of the wild, with CQ bows CQ. and arrows. <laughs> Ted Nuge is gonna teach us some CQC. I've killed a number of big bucks by calling the does in, and when the does move about, the bucks follow. Go I typically will cut my knees. hand around my mouth uh, uh, to take off that shrill top end of the human vocal sound. Tom I've words. also called in bucks by reproducing a grunt with my mouth, which basically is a uh, uh, uh. And during the rut, when the now wasn't this video worth it just to see Ted Nugent go, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> or me go, uh, uh. <laughs> oh Lord, I hope to God it recorded that. Well, I think we wasted enough time here. Let's see the actual freaking game now. Man, will you look at these graphics? This is some lazy shit right here. It looks like some N64 game, like Turok or something. Except Turok's actually good. Look at this, this is the most dull, boring forest I have ever seen in my life. And you know how I said the controls still aren't quite right? Well, look at this. You see how the reticle is going down? Every time you try to aim the gun in this game, it slowly goes down by itself. And there's nothing you can do about it. Man, the Hunter Call of the Wild ain't got shit on the graphics on this thing. Look at all that green and blue and brown. There's a lot of little quirks in this game that really bother the shit out of me, even if it wasn't glitching. Like, it would really do this if it was in 100% working shape. First off, even if you have a gun with iron sights or anything like that, there's no crosshair, so you can't, you can't just walk around and shoot. You have to go into an aiming mode and shoot, and you can't run or else you lose points. Well, that's why it's called hunting and not shooting. Shut up. But yeah, this game slaps you on the wrist a whole bunch, depending on what you do. For one thing, you need hunting tags, just like you do in real life, to shoot the animal you're trying to find. If you shoot an animal that doesn't have a tag, you're going to be uh, fined for poaching. Now look at this, this is a good example of how hard it was to try to aim with this stupid thing. Crosshair's automatically moving down, and I'm over here with the arrow keys trying to turn it. Now you deserve hunk a hunk of boin and Ted. No, 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 don't hurry, you can't hurry. And yeah, get used to Ted chastising you everything you do. Celebrate. Celebrate that my dog's carrying around a deer dick. <laughs> I don't know if there's binoculars in this game, so I'm just gonna try to use this some. Uh, what? Seriously? Move slowly, or don't move at all. To be God honest, I think I'm more patient when I'm actually hunting. I mean, th y'all, this game is a mess. The controls are a mess, the graphics are a mess. It does nothing but holler at you the whole time and make you feel bad for everything you do, so. Yeah, zero out of zero billion. It would take something super extreme to change my mind about this game. <gasps> Wait a minute. 
cheat codes. Okay, I just put in just about every cheat code that looked fun. Let's return to the lodge place and uh, see about the item shop. See what we can get now. If today's teenage thrill seekers really want to get a thrill, let them go into the northwest and tangle with a grizzly bear, a polar bear, a brown bear. They will get the thrill that will cleanse the soul. Or end your life, one of the two. Well, everything looks about the same here, except... Nugent Blaster? <laughs> okay. You have my attention. <laughs> Holy crap! Down. Just so you know, this isn't just some random silliness they came up with. This is a guitar that was on the Weekend Warriors album by Ted Nugent. That is pretty fucking cool, and that might have just gave this game one more point. <laughs> just one, though. Just one. Nah. We all I highly appreciate y'all coming over here to Working Man Games and checking out what I had to review for y'all. I had fun recording these horrible hunting games and laughing along with y'all at me and at them. So uh, follow me on Twitter and Tumblr, and I've got a thing called Coffee, that's K-O-F-I. Um, it's a tip jar, donation tip jar. You donate money to me, and I will go out there and buy some more games and better equipment so this video looks a little bit better, and I got more to talk about. Uh, it's a win-win situation, y'all. I like it a lot better than Patreon because you don't have to you don't have to pledge every month or something. It's not something you're kind of you're kind of stuck on. You got you got choices there. You know what I mean? But anyway, I'm gonna go out and find me some deer while y'all are uh, watching this video or whatever. And then I gotta come back and we've got one more hunting game video to do. But. Uh, this one is about an entire series. We'll see you then. This is Stuart K. Riley. Y'all have a good one. Well, with just one point and click of the button, I can be in one of four states. Did I turn that off? Leaves are sitting high in the autumn. Leaves are in the snow on a wintry day. I think it. And I wonder what my old grandpappy would say. The pop is high tech hunting in the house. And instead of trailing deer with a no hound dog, we're tracking them down with a mouse. Yes, I am the desktop deer hunter. Computer simulated number one top gunner. Tracking down white jail trophies, bully cracking, poking young. Either using my shotgun or rifle on my low whichever No matter what location, black like conditions or the weather I'm the best top deer hunter on the CD-ROM Yes, I'm the best top deer hunter on the CD-ROM Shit! Gonna be one of them days.